Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at wives having meltdowns after getting caught cheating. But let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Like, I don't know why we're still out here doing all of this, you're disrespecting cussing at me. Like, I don't understand it, it's already over, it is what it is. Listen, give your mom, give your phone back to your mom. Yo, I want you to call Miss Jasmine up on your phone and ask, what did you guys talk about over the phone? Um, I, I have a question. You busy? No, go ahead. What are the messages about that we talked about? Okay, um, what are the messages about, um, that we were talking about the other day? Hmm. About oh, Omar. Girl, you know you're the one who told me that you were f***ing him, so... This just got worse and worse. What kind of mother would betray their daughter like that? For me, it was so many things that I had not done because I was in these two long-term relationships. I'm a relationship girl, mm -hmm. but I wanted to be a- You was faithful in both those relationships? Huh? <laughs> you can't hit me with a huh, mom. That's not how this works. <laughs> This work. So she's a relationship girl, but also wants to get around. Gotta pick one or the other. I met up with this girl on Tinder. Uh -huh. We went on three dates in four days. We kiss. It's cool. That's it. Then I brought it up to Graham. Graham investigates her Instagram, uh -huh. finds a photo with it a guy. Hidden, and I click this guy's profile and it had her name as his Instagram bio with a oh, heart. Okay. I FaceTimed her and I was like, hey, what's going on with this? She's like, oh, it's my ex. We broke up. He's inactive on social media. Okay. Graham DMs the guy. We call him and say, hey, just letting you know, I went on a date with this girl. What's the deal with you and her? And he's all, that... And he gets all angry. He's all, we've been dating for two years. I bought her a car. I gave her thousands of dollars. Yeah. We have been together in a loving relationship. Check right. this out. Sends me a photo of his wall. Just Polaroids of them all on the yes. wall. And he said, thank you so much. This restores my faith in humanity. I Boy, wish restores you... and both yeah. destroys. Because the moment. fact that someone will go out of their way to give this guy right. a heads up, it's the bro code. If yes. that's happening, you got to let the other guy know. He said that we were guardian angels. This dude just saved this man a lot of trouble. This bro code should be practiced more often. So Andrea, first thing I asked you was, is today Wednesday? You said no. You were being truthful. I asked if your name was Andrea. You said yes. The lie detector test from you being truthful. I asked you, have you ever cheated in school? You said no. Detect, <clears throat> sorry, the lie detector test determined you were being truthful. I asked if you were a black female. You said no. The lie detector test determined you were being truthful. I said, do you have a boyfriend? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you were being truthful. Awesome. I said, is your boyfriend's name Brandon? The test determined you were being truthful. I said, are you attracted to your boyfriend? The test determined you were being truthful. Okay. Same? Yeah. I said, have you ever had somebody of the same You said no. The test determined you were being truthful. I asked you if you've ever contracted an STD. You said no. The test determined you were being truthful. I said, do you value your boyfriend? You said yes. The test determined you were being untruthful. Okay. The test determined that was a lie. Okay, that's... I asked, do you have multiple boyfriends? You said no. The test determined you were being truthful. I asked, have you ever stolen from your boyfriend? You said no. The test determined that was a lie. Okay, before? Hold on, doesn't let us finish. Let's finish the questions. I said, have you ever lied to your boyfriend? You said no. The test determined that was a lie. I asked you, have you ever had somebody other than your boyfriend in the last seven days? You said no. The test determined that was a lie. Then what that Brandon? Okay. Brandon. Brandon, relax. Yo, 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 Brandon. Well, as we all know, there's no way of getting out of the lie detector test. Poor man. It's so sad to see this woman getting cheated on, but why is the other woman smiling like it's all a game? Does she think ruining a relationship is fun? Yeah, fam, I should get in the head done, bro. Counseling or something, huh? Don't, don't, 
Look, man, you got a crime and stuff. They finna call the police on us. I don't care, man. You out here chilling with me with this little fool right here? Like he done missed the meal? She really wanted to tell him to stop yelling like that? Does she not know how bad cheating is? Is my dad wrong for never speaking to my sister again because he feels like she betrayed him? Man, where do I start? My family used to be real close. I'm talking about real close. Until the day my dad found that my mom was cheating on him. And with his best friend of all people, my mom was cheating on my dad with his best friend, John. The man that was his best man at the wedding. The man that was like a brother to him all his life. And even after my dad found out she was cheating, like any marriage, of course, it started falling apart. But he begged my mom to stay. But she chose John after him. So eventually they got divorced. And five months later after the divorce, she married John. Now my sister Sarah, we, me and her had a choice of who we wanted to stay with after the divorce. And Sarah was like your typical daddy's girl. She was always up on my dad. She was like his mini me, his shadow. And of course he spoiled her more than he spoiled the rest of his children. Cause that was his only girl. That was his baby girl. So she got special treatment. She really got anything she wanted. So when it was time for us to choose what parent to stay with, she chose to stay with my mom and Sarah. And that was just baffling to everybody because she was really like my dad's mini me. So I chose to stay with my dad and Sarah chose to go stay with my mom. And if I were to sit here and tell you that the divorce and Sarah choosing to go stay with my mom, if I were to say that that crushed my dad, that would be an understatement. Of course, in front of us, he tried to save face like he was OK. But for a year straight after the divorce, I could hear himself crying to sleep every day. Now, of course, on the weekends, Sarah came to visit and occasionally I would go see my mom, but it just wasn't the same. I mean, I would definitely be upset if I were this father. Imagine being the best father you could be just to get betrayed by not only your own wife, but your daughter as well. This is just sad. It's one secret you never told your ex. I flirted with a guy for like two months, but then he cheated on me, so it's all fair and square. Wait, this just doesn't add up. Okay, so for two months while you guys were together, you flirted with a guy, and then he cheated. So did you do anything with that flirtation? I did not. You were a good girl the whole time. Sure. I think you did something. What'd you do? I kissed a girl, but I kissed a girl after I found out he cheated on me, so it's like in my mind it's all fair and square like it literally cancels out it doesn't work like that sounds like there was more going on behind the scenes but if she was cheating first he can't really be punished for it she has my car key why is she ready why is she ready bless why is she running why is she running bless answer me why is she running all right guys so apparently sarah had tyrant's keys this entire time Sarah! What are you doing? Where do you think you're going? Sarah, please just get out of the car. Hello? Please. Just get out of the car. You don't even know how to drive. I'm about to get hella money for this piece of shit. You're, you're really being Sarah, just, and Sarah. about this. Get out. Sarah, just get out of the car, please. Just get let out. Tyra drive you. Get just out. let Tyra drive you. The amount of times I heard Sarah get out of the car was way too many to count. But on the real, stealing her car is a hilarious payback. I have your boyfriend here, he wants to talk to you. Oh, oh sh. Uh, Supposed to be at work, huh? Yeah, uh, work uh, got out early. The f After everything I do for you, you do this to me? You f Wait, what's going on? What is this? Uh, this is her boyfriend, man. Uh, he, 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 yeah, this is her boyfriend. Did you know that she had a boyfriend? I had yeah. a boyfriend. What's going on? How come you didn't say nothing? Um, I, uh, I don't have I give a you everything. Boyfriend. What do you mean you don't have a boyfriend? For you. you don't do for me. You don't do you walk around hey, saying you're my boyfriend, you don't do sh you know it. I love you! Bullsh he loves me. You be cool. You be cool. Right, I'm cool. Okay, I'm just I'm just okay, letting you know ahead of time. I mean, just tell the boy to calm down, though. He's he going... Okay, he can't I'm... Be going I'm a female like just relax. Like, just relax. This is a, this you is a romantic man. Feels, love man. You know how to get her. cheated on like this. How come you didn't say nothing? How long, how long has this been going on? How come you didn't say nothing to me? 
We've been dating months. for like six months. How come you didn't say nothing? Did you know about because them together for six months? No. Okay, so listen, you're a victim too, right? But she's a cheater, man. She's got a boyfriend, contacted me and my partner, private investigators, paid us to find out if she's cheating. And that's what we did. I'm to sorry, get proof. that's bull****. Well, okay, so how do you- to you. Yeah. I'm sorry, what part of that's bull****? Not, not you two. You two are just doing your job. What are you doing going around behind my back getting private investigators- Everybody been telling me that you've been- come to me yeah, and you're just ask me if I'm loyal, if I'm real, if I'm being true. Wow, this is unbelievable. She's trying to justify her cheating by saying he doesn't do anything for her? He deserves way better. So you guys, if you're wondering why I'm being this extra crazy, I own this car, I bought this car for my husband as a gift, and he's literally cuddled up, boot up inside with my best friend. So tell me what you would do in my position. Derek, I can't wait for you to see this Low-key for what this did do to he kind of got out on an easier punishment than I'd expect. It was like friends by chance. Yes. You guys trust each other? Yes. Are you single or are you taken? I'm single. I take him. Is he a nice guy? Maybe. Do you find her boyfriend attractive? Yes. Are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah. Do you trust him though? Yeah. Is it all right if your friend over here calls your boyfriend and asks him to Netflix and chill and just see if he's loyal? Okay. Call her boyfriend. Yeah. Maybe it's right. Hello. What are you doing? Right now, not much. Do you want to Netflix and chill? Not a close, but can I call you back? Let me know. Bye. Okay, that, that's weird. Did he say no? No. Do you think he's loyal? We don't know. Wait, pick it up, pick it up. Hey, uh, something came up and um, I'm just not going to be able to make it to, uh, to the restaurant with you tonight. Why? It's kind of like a business meeting and like, you know, you know how much I appreciate my job. Okay, no problem. He's clearly lying. He's cheating. That is so weird, honestly. Oh my God, he's calling me. He's calling you. Girlfriend's here, bro. We're all here listening to this. You just got exposed. You just got exposed, bro. Check out Omar Majid. That's where you're gonna be. She's with me. Cheater. You're a loser. Bye. Ooh. You seem very chill. I'm not gonna lie. This could have been one watch worse. She wants to search another man. This generation, bro. What the? F and again, another interviewer exposing cheaters on camera. Not all heroes wear capes. Y'all dating? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said yeah. You said no. So I'm not gonna lie. Dance, you look like very beautiful though. Thank you. you said, uh, scale of 1 through 10, what would you rate me? Like an 8. For real? Yeah. I get a kiss on the cheek? Uh, I'm so listen, listen, listen. Wow, this dude just got friend zoned on camera and she didn't even care about him. Come on, man, time to find someone new. What is one thing that you've never told your ex? That I f***ed his roommate. <gasps> what <laughs> now he knows now. What happened? I don't know, he just left me in the house with his roommate and I was like... I asked his roommate if he had a charger and he brought me the charger and I in his bed. Oh, and um, I a neighbor too. Okay. I, I had the, the neighbor was upstairs and I was like, yo, come. And we couldn't like do it through like the elevator because the elevator would open to the house. Mm -hmm. So we okay. did the stairs and then I in his bed. Terrible. And they never found out. You do now. Hmm? It's insane how she has no remorse for what she did. Open the door, Amy. Okay, I don't have a key on Who's here? So how long you been messing around my wife? What you mean? What do you mean what I mean? Just no. You want me to leave? Home. Are you in love? I don't know. Okay. Well, this Facebook Live, your daughter sees that and your wife sees that. What you mean? Uh, your wife added her tonight. When, when I seen my wife was at a motel. Man, you don't even know my wife. Get out of my face. Yo, you got a... Problem? No, huh? just, you got a problem? Nah, I ain't got no problem. What you mean, my wife? Because this Facebook live. Nah, get me out of that shit, bro. Because you don't know who I am. Get me out of that shit. Believe that. One stone, two birds. Caught both the wife cheating and the husband of another woman. Let's go. She can have it. I ain't even making it. Hmm. So, like, hmm. I'm, I'm no. Y'all mother. I yeah, know. right. Go. Y'all can know. have each other. Go ahead. Bye. I'm not Out the door. Bye. What kind of mother would betray her daughter like that? You're actively on a platform with a million folks actively talking about leaving your husband to get back with your ex. Because he's high value and I feel like he's high value and with, um, so. And the reason you want to break your covenant with God uh, and wreck your home of the pipe fitter guy 
is because the previous guy was higher value, meaning he earns more money. Yeah, and his social status, how he looks. If we switch this situation, and it was a man who had ruined his situation with a with a woman, and he decided to get the therapy that he needed and get married to another woman, but then he would be willing to leave his current wife to get back with the previous woman, what would the world say about that man? He, it would say that this woman he got back with is the one he always wanted. She belongs and to the streets. Like, what would your father say about it? My father, he was against me marrying him. No, no, what did your father say about you talking about leaving your husband to go back to your ex-boyfriend? Well, he said that my husband gave me a home and that, you know, a young man won't do that. And I should appreciate that because he, he gave me a home. He, he bought me a home. Well, I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you, ma'am. I've heard some pretty interesting things in a year and a half of doing this show. But um, you probably have to be probably the, probably the worst woman I've ever spoken to. What? Wow. Yeah. I've heard a woman that actually was going to leave her, but at least she waited for her husband to be in remission before she left him. I was hoping you were trolling, but the more you talk, the more realistic you are. So I honestly hope whoever knows this woman's husband, make sure he watches this video. Imagine how awful this must feel. Like, how could she get married to someone just to leave and go back to her ex? It's time she cheated. I don't, I don't do with cheaters, so... If I, had, if I had another balloon, I would pop it twice. A double pop for the cheater, just as it should be. Dang, now that is an awful way to find out your man's is cheating. He didn't even know which girl he was texting. What is Listen, this? is that a lie? What, what is the surprise? What? The real surprise. Are we going to Disney World or something? Like, bro. <laughs> is that how we're. Yeah, what is, that, the real is that surprise? Is that we mending things like that? Or? Handy dandy iPhone. Oh. Give me one second. Come Who on. are you calling? You're calling Who are you calling? I'm gonna put on speakerphone in one second. Hold on. This is David. Mom. Who's David? So. Wait, wait. What's I know David, David through David. our great lovely friend Jessica. Hey Vince. Hey. Meet David. Hey, give me, give me a who's, hey, wait, David. wait, who's David? Who's David? Who's it this? is her other boyfriend. Her other boyfriend. Oh, They've been dating for three Jessica. years. Wait, what, David? What's up? Hello. Yeah. What's up, man? Yo, this. Hold this on, is uh, uh, Ethiopia's me... boyfriend. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Grab your phone back. Grab your phone back. Grab your phone back. Hold on. What's going David. on? This is my coworker, David. Coworker. Yeah. I ain't no co-worker. We, we was just in the Bahamas Wait. last week. Hey, girl. This is Vince. I'm her boyfriend. How long y'all been dating, bro? Hold on, David. Yo, we've been dating for 10 Listen, years. David. 10 years, bro. David. I've been three years strong now, bro. So you're telling me you've been you've been with this chick for three years. You, you just took her to... Okay, okay. Three years? Well, how do you feel about this, bro? David. That three years ain't just got here. You want her? You can have her. You can have her. I don't want her, bro. She just called you a side piece. I'm sorry, but... I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you seem like a chill dude, but, but we need to... Dad 
boyfriend's yeah, uh, not here. Brielle just, yeah, she boyfriend's just exposed her. Okay. So this whole time, you say you're trying to fix things, but you just want a revenge? Crazy and she's now? with two dudes in the sheets? She belongs to the street. <laughs> Wow, these loyalty tests are just exposing cheaters left and right. Crazy how easy it is to catch them with a simple phone call. Two. Oh, Video? No. It's on video? No, video. You don't have no video. Show me the video, bro. So what's that? What a video is? So what's that? So what's what that? What a video? So that's not you? So that's not me. Man, back up. I ain't about to do this. That's her. That's not me. That's her. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. That's her. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, man. Don't touch me. It's on video. Oh, yeah, nah, don't, don't, don't try to hold my hand. And don't try to hold my hand. That's her birthmark in the video. No, 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 don't touch me, don't touch me. Jeesh, these dudes were just straight up with him like it was nothing. But hey, gotta give them credit for being honest and letting him know. How long have you guys been dating for? 18 months. Wow. So, do you guys think it's possible to have guy friends when you're in a relationship? I mean, it really depends. I don't trust most of the guys out there, though, not really. I think it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna pick a card from this game. They have some risky texts in here. And basically, I'm gonna have you call one of your guy friends and ask him a question. How does that sound? Sounds good. Let's do this thing. Hey, Tyler, how have you been? Good, how are you doing? Pretty good. I wanted to know if you wanted to see a movie to catch up with each other. Yeah, don't you have a boyfriend? It's not really that serious, though. Okay, um, well, I know the new Scream movie just came out, and, you know, it's kind of scary, so don't be afraid to jump in my arms. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Wait, who's this? This is for f boyfriend, dude. How about how about I make that movie a reality for you? Whoa, okay, I'm sorry, man. Chill. Dude, sorry, I, I'm, sorry, I'm gonna I'm make sorry. your ass dream. Trust that. Guy friends are definitely a red flag, but it honestly depends on the couple. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel and the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.